There was no command, no command to kill any civilians. You say this was a military operation, but the result of it was that hundreds yeah, of civilians that, were killed. Because the area is very wide, and there are many people there, and there was clashes and confrontation. It's no, not confrontation. No, you invaded I, I houses. I don't have details what happened inside. But I, I can tell you that we didn't have any intention or decision to call the civilians. You say you were not targeting civilians. Yes. And you now have more than 200 hostages, many of them civilians. Why don't you then just release those civilians? We are ready to deal positively with the point of these hostages. We are not planning from the first moment to, uh, to have the hostages of the, uh, of, as you said, the civilians. I think that it is a military operation. It is a military operation. But how does it advance the Palestinian cause? I, I don't accept from you that, that we are just uh, kill the civilians in order to... We, we've seen the no, evidence. No, I we've think seen this, the pictures. Is, this is a shame for you to, to do that. It is not a question. It is a shame for you to do that. We are fighter for dignity and for freedoms. For freedom. By you have killing to, you have, people we are in their killing, homes, we are, by invading we are music festival and killing hundreds Israel, of people. Israel's country, as a state, they provide and supply the occupation. But how do you... Israel is a state of brutality, of massacres. No, you have, you have to think... How do you justify killing people as they sleep, you know, families? How do you justify I, I killing want, hundreds I, I of people to stop this, uh, uh, in... I want to stop this interview. A rather abrupt ending to that interview with the Hamas spokesman. Well,